Hello and welcome back to Hayward Junction. Release day is finally here for the uh, Wi-Fi throttle for DCC++, so it's time to celebrate. Going to do a little bit of running while uh, kind of showing off some of the features. Yeah, uh, main menu, but go for number three. And I forget I've got to put the power on first. So now that's on. Touch that again, back to low co three. It's a little zoomer here. If I want to get a new keypad, I could just swipe up. Another little loco got going. Swipe up again. Got number 31. This one's got the custom config. It's also a sound loco, so uh, it can make some noises. To swipe to go between the locos you've got control of. If you want to release a loco, you can swipe down, but this is all configurable as well in the settings. So you've got all your swipe options, so you can decide what you want to do. You can just push through them. I've already started on some new features that will be added later on. To make setup a little easier, if you don't plan on using the custom configs, there's going to be a virtual keyboard. This will allow you to enter Wi-Fi and CS settings without needing to connect to the throttle with a phone or computer. The keyboard will be accessible by clicking on the setting. From here you can then enter a value. This bit is still a work in progress, so the, the value entered isn't saved yet, but clicking enter would update the setting. All the code, 3D files for the case and documentation are now on GitHub. There's a link in the video description below. Uh, just to note that this should be considered beta and may contain bugs I've not yet encountered as uh, this has been a solo project, but if you find any, please do report them to GitHub. That's all for now on this. I'll continue to update the code if I find any bugs or have any ideas for new features. Thanks for watching.